Mount Everest, standing over 29,000 feet high, is Earth's tallest mountain. It sits in the Mahalangar Himal range of the Himalayas, right on the border between Tibet and Nepal. Today, we are going to explore the 10 most mysterious events on Mount Everest that'll leave you amazed. Ready for the journey? Number 10. The third person, in 1933, British explorer Frank Smith nearly became the first person to summit Mount Everest. Despite his group turning back due to harsh conditions, Smith pressed on but fell short by around a thousand feet. In his diary, he recounted a phenomenon now known as the third man factor. While climbing alone, he distinctly felt the presence of a second person. This imaginary companion, evident when he offered a piece of mint cake, dispelled any loneliness he might have otherwise felt. A similar experience occurred with British mountaineers Dougal Haston and Doug Scott in 1975. After reaching Everest's summit late in the day, they faced a perilous night in a snow cave, running low on air and supplies. Struggling to survive, both climbers claimed to sense the presence of a third person with them. This inexplicable presence has been reported by various Everest climbers, including Peter Hillary, Lincoln Hall, and Reinhold Messner. The mystery of the third man factor adds an intriguing layer to the challenges faced by those who dare to conquer Everest. Number 9. Himalayan Goral the Himalayan goral is indeed a fascinating species native to the Himalayas, including the region near Everest. As a bovid species, it belongs to the family Bovidae, which includes various cloven-hoofed mammals such as goats, sheep, and antelopes. The characteristics of the Himalayan goral, including its size, appearance, and behavior, make it well adapted to the challenging mountainous terrain of the Himalayas. The ability of the Himalayan goral to form small bands and its camouflaging skills contribute to its survival in the rugged and often harsh environment near Everest. This species is an integral part of the unique and diverse ecosystem of the region, showcasing the adaptability of wildlife to extreme conditions. Observing and understanding the various species, including the Himalayan goral, that inhabit the Everest region adds to the overall richness of the area's biodiversity. It's a reminder of the diverse life that exists even in some of the most challenging and remote landscapes on our planet. Number 8. The Rainbow Valley Nestled on the northern slope of Mount Everest, Rainbow Valley serves as a poignant resting place for climbers who, after attempting but failing to reach the summit, find their final repose in this high-altitude cemetery. The name Rainbow Valley is derived from the vibrant jackets left behind by tourists and locals, creating a colorful yet solemn atmosphere. Despite its cheerful name, Rainbow Valley embodies the somber reality of mountaineering on Everest. Thousands of climbers attempt the ascent each year, with some successfully reaching the summit, while others admit defeat and return to base camp. Unfortunately, there are those who do not make it back, and Rainbow Valley becomes their eternal resting place. The harsh conditions on Everest, characterized by cold temperatures, prevent the bodies of the deceased climbers from decomposing creating a poignant landscape where the fallen are forever preserved in the snow. As more individuals face the unfortunate outcome, the accumulation of bodies adds to the solemnity of Mount Everest's Rainbow Valley. The area is also home to Himalayan goral, elusive animals known for their ability to camouflage within the environment, making them challenging to spot amidst the mountainous terrain. Number 7. Ghosts of Everest Mount Everest isn't just a tall mountain. It's also a place with some spooky happenings. Meet Chuang Nima, a famous Sherpa known for two things. First, he claims to have zoomed up Everest in just eight hours and 10 minutes in 2004. Impressive, right? But the second story is a bit eerie. Three days after his speedy climb, while nearing the summit from the South Col, Chuang Nima stumbled upon frozen bodies in the snow. That's not the creepy part. He says he saw black shadowy figures reaching out to him, like spirits asking for food. He believes these were the ghosts of climbers who didn't make it down from Everest. Now, here's the sad truth. Many climbers who didn't make it are still up there, and some are even hanging from ropes. Some Sherpas think these ghostly spirits won't find peace until the bodies get a proper burial. But it's tough to bring everyone down from above 8,000 meters, and more climbers add to the eerie crew each year. So it looks like Everest might keep its ghostly reputation for a while. Spooky, right? Number 6. Mallory and Irvine Let's rewind to 1953 when Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay conquered Everest, becoming the first to reach its summit. But hold on, back in 1924, George Mallory and Sandy Irvine were spotted near the top. 
Sadly, they never made it back, leaving a mystery hanging in the air. Mallory, an experienced climber, had been to Everest twice before. In 1921, he mapped the region with a team that included Alexander Kellis and Harold Rayburn. Mallory took charge after Kellis died and Rayburn got sick. On his third attempt, Mallory realized Everest needed artificial aid like oxygen. In 1924, Mallory and Irvine aimed for the top, guided by Odell. But in a snowfall, they vanished. Odell searched but found nothing. In 1999, Conrad Anker found Mallory's body, but no clues or his camera. Mallory had promised to put a picture of his wife on the summit. When found, the photo was missing. For those thinking Mallory and Irvine conquered Everest first, the missing photo is a strong hint. It's not a definite answer, but it adds to the mystery. Did Mallory and Irvine make it? That's Everest's unsolved riddle. Cool, right? Number 5. Bizarre disc-shaped UFO soaring above Mount Everest The claim of a UFO sighting above the Himalayas, particularly in the 2 billion pixel picture of the mountain range, has generated speculation and interest among sky watchers and UFO enthusiasts. The alleged black shape in the sky above the Himalayas, as identified in the high-definition photo, has led some to suggest the presence of an alien ship. The photo, created by mountaineer and filmmaker David Breschers in 2012, is a mosaic composition of 477 images, providing incredible detail of the world's tallest mountain from the base camp to the sky above. The alleged UFO sighting has sparked discussions among alien watchdog groups, such as UFO Today, who claim that secret underground bases, similar to Area 51, are rumored to exist in the region. The Ladakh border area between India and China, where the photo was taken, has been a subject of speculation regarding UFO sightings. Declassified files mention seven UFO sightings in the region since 1968. While these claims and speculations generate excitement among those interested in UFO phenomena. Number 4. Attacker Sherpas The incident involving British climber John Griffith and his companions encountering an angry mob of Sherpas on Everest is indeed a dramatic and unfortunate event. Such confrontations and conflicts on Everest have been rare but highlight the complex dynamics and challenges associated with high-altitude mountaineering particularly in a region where climbers from various expeditions share the same routes and camps. The altercation reportedly began as a verbal disagreement and escalated to a physical attack, with the Sherpas confronting the climbers and displaying aggressive behavior. The climbers, fearing for their safety, had to retreat and leave the mountain to avoid further escalation. Conflicts on Everest can arise due to various factors, including crowded conditions, competition for limited resources, cultural differences, and misunderstandings. Mountaineering on Everest involves significant risks and challenges, and cooperation and communication between climbers and Sherpas are crucial for a safe and successful ascent. Instances like these underscore the importance of fostering a cooperative and respectful environment among climbers, Sherpas, and other support staff on Everest. It also highlights the need for effective communication and conflict resolution strategies to prevent such incidents in the future. Number 3. Growth of Shrubs and Grass Mount Everest and the Himalayas, among the fastest warming areas globally, are witnessing a concerning trend. Shrubs and grasses are emerging at higher altitudes. This shift in vegetation, identified through satellite data, raises worries among scientists about the region's future. The inaccessible subnival zone, where plants can grow at high elevations, is experiencing increased greenery. This ecosystem, composed of grasses and dwarf shrubs with seasonal snow, is vital for the area's hydrology, covering a substantial area minus 5 to 15 times more than permanent glaciers and snow. Researchers from Exeter University used NASA's Landsat satellite images from 1993 to 2018 to track vegetation spread across different height brackets, from 4150 to 6000 meters above sea level. The melting of Himalayan glaciers has doubled since the early 2000s with a significant loss of ice over the last four decades. The vulnerability of Himalayan ecosystems to climate-induced shifts in vegetation poses significant risks. The ongoing changes underscore the urgent need for addressing environmental concerns in this critical region. Number 2. The Yeti The Yeti is also known as the Abominable Snowman. This mysterious creature is said to hang out in the Asian mountains leaving tracks in the snow and chilling below the Himalayan snowline. 
Even with lots of expeditions in Russia, China, and Nepal, we still can't prove the Yeti exists. People describe the Yeti as a strong, hairy being, kind of grayish or reddish brown, weighing between 200 and 400 pounds. It's shorter than North America's Bigfoot, standing at about 6 feet tall. But get this, Yetis don't stick to one look, they've been seen in different shapes. The Yeti stories go way back, with folks in the Everest region telling tales of a big night-loving creature. Some evidence, like giant footprints from the 1951 Everest expedition and a supposed Yeti scalp in Chumjum's monastery, add spice to the stories. In 2009, Joshua Gates and his team found hair samples in footprints and a DNA test hinted at a totally new DNA sequence. Yet, like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, there's no solid proof of the Yeti. Despite some clues, true believers stay hopeful. The idea is these creatures are super rare and good at hiding. So, for now, the Yeti's still a mystery, hanging out in the snowy lands of Mount Everest. Cool, huh? Number 1. The man who survived the scariest day on Everest and went back again. In 2015, renowned mountain climber and environmental geologist Jim Davidson experienced the devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake at Everest's Camp 1. This event claimed 18 lies on the mountain and nearly 9,000 across Nepal and neighboring countries, marking the deadliest day in Everest's history. Davidson, stranded at Camp 1, was rescued by helicopter 11 days later, amidst efforts to save others. Remarkably, despite the harrowing experience, Davidson made a bold decision. In 2016, just two years later, he returned to Everest to conquer its summit. Motivated by the desire to join the summit celebrations with friends, he shared the news with his family. To mitigate risks during his second attempt, Davidson, then in his mid-50s, dedicated extensive hours to training, averaging 4 to 12 hours daily. He juggled workouts in the early mornings and late nights to preserve family time, sacrificing other hobbies for years to prioritize both training and family. It's a reminder of the diverse life that exists even in some of the most challenging and remote landscapes on our planet. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for more quality facts around the world discoveries and more.